after my last video on some harsh realities of data science, people started asking me, hey Aman, is it worth staying in data science or learning data science? The answer is yes. I am here with the five pointers that I am going to tell you why everybody should learn data science. Okay, If not at the expert level, at least you should know how machine learning works or how to analyze the data. Let me give you all these and it will start making sense. Okay, Towards the end of the video, I am going to give you something very, very interesting. So just stay tuned and watch till end. Okay? First of all, guys, uh, if you and me are working in corporate, right? Uh, you and me are going to get promoted and you and me are going to manage projects. Okay, uh, It will not be like we will be developers or we will be like, you know, only working hands on. You and me will be managing the projects. As I told you in the last video also, harsh reality of data science, none of the data use cases or none of the data, data projects, okay? It will necessarily have a machine learning flavor or AI flavor. Now, it was not like, like this 10 years back, okay? But now, in the planning phase, in the proposal phase, in the, you know, timelines deciding phase, right? There will be an AI component, machine learning component. Now, imagine if you and me are a manager and we are, we don't understand how machine learning works, how data science works, what is, you know, data capturing, what is data cleaning, then how you and me are going to present the good timelines, how you and me are going to onboard the right resources, how you and me are going to utilize the resources, right? That is going to be a big problem. So this is to all the managers, little senior people, mid to senior people, right? At least have, don't be expert, have some understanding of how machine learning works. Okay, that is going to help you a lot. This is for all of us. This was reason number one, why all of us should learn data science and machine learning, irrespective of what we are doing in our day to day job. Okay. Reason number two guys, and you can relate it very well. Um, it is always advised to generate a secondary income. Now, what I mean by secondary income is, take my example only. Okay, so I'm creating some YouTube videos. You might be interested in, uh, you know, running an online store or offline store or, or something, some product or service you want to sell, right? This is nothing but a business. Any kind of business, if you want to run, you need to be on top of your customers, your data, your analysis. So for example, I can take my YouTube data and I can do some analysis on what kind of video I should create more, what kind of video I should create less, uh, which day of the week I should create video, what time of the day I should put the video live, right? All these are nothing but from my machine learning knowledge, data analysis knowledge, I can do all these things. If you are running a side business, no matter whether you use data science in your work or not, these things is you know, doable. You can do that. From your knowledge, you can get advantage in your non-professional or you can say personal life as well. Third point that I want to cover here is, um, resume should not look boring. What I mean by a boring resume is, let's say there is a big data resume or Hadoop resume, data engineering or big data developer, right? So, all the big data developers will write the same kind of keywords. For example, big data, Hive, Hadoop, Uzi, Spark, these are some of the common keywords you will find in all big data developer or, you know, big data engineer resume. But suppose you know some bit of machine learning, AI, um, how the models work, what is, what is, you know, logistic regression, some things you know, right? What you can do, you can put these. Now your resume starts looking different from rest of the resume. Again, no need to be, you know, no need to go too much into that. No need to leave your field completely and learn this too much. but uh, you understand what I am saying, right? Uh, you can say that I am expert in Hadoop, but I have exposure to machine learning. So your resume will get shortlisted more. Your resume will start looking little heavy. Okay. This is again critical. Fourth point I want to cover here is many a times what may happen is um, in your organization, they will want you to hire candidates for your project. Okay and you will be a hiring manager. This second I am talking at a senior level, okay? So, suppose you are hiring a data science person and you have no clue of what questions to ask or how to evaluate the candidate. How do you ask the right questions? So, at least if you know how, you know, what is the high level flow of a machine learning project or, 
you know uh, what is what is the data pipeline or what are the important steps of a, of a machine learning project you can ask the right questions to the candidate this is one more reason i find it very practical in in spite of going to google and searching data science interview questions right believe me guys i have seen people searching it so don't don't laugh and don't be surprised okay there are people if if i don't know anything about some area what i will do if if i am told to take an interview in cyber security i have no clue of cyber security right i have to go and google interview questions for cyber security so people people do this nothing to be shameful here but the good thing would be if we have some idea of data science machine learning and ai because this is very common in as i told you data area okay and last and most important reason for all of you again applicable to many of you if you are someone who has never coded in your life i know many people like that okay if you are someone who is afraid of coding i know many people like that who will be like hey hey coding is not my thing don't show me coding no no i can't code if you are that type of person right you will not get a easier language than python to learn and you will not get a interesting problem than machine learning to solve try to understand this combination guys not an easier language than python to learn not an interesting problem than machine learning to solve then why not learn machine learning data science try to do some huge cases who knows your entire career may shift to data science right in this entire discussion i have not spoken about data scientist salary data scientist demand growth data scientist you know demand all these story you know no need to mention these stories rather i try to focus on some important basic stuff now the interesting part i told you in the beginning there is a massive discount going on at unfold data science hindi and english courses link is here www.unfolddatascience.com festive discounts go there no need of any coupon codes nothing just you have to go there click on the link and get the courses at best price possible okay i am just leaving some of the reviews of the course i don't want you to feel like i am pushing you to take the course just read the reviews see the price on the portal and take your call i will see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care